All right, in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing this Apple Mac Plus desktop computer. Now, in this box is the actual Macintosh Plus itself, but it also includes all the accessories, or at least almost all the accessories that came with the machine when it was new. So, according to the listing, this machine, or this box, should contain uh, the Macintosh Plus itself, the keyboard for the Macintosh Plus, a carrying bag for the Mac Plus, the manuals and floppy disks that originally shipped with it, uh, as well as a keyboard. Now, for some reason, uh, the actual seller on eBay decided to sell the mouse separately, and unfortunately, I didn't get it. But um, I did get another mouse from a different seller on eBay, which should be here tomorrow. Now, the machine in the listing was described as non-working. Uh, so basically what they said it would do when powered up uh, it basically wouldn't show anything on the screen uh, unless it was moved or jostled around a little bit. And that's almost certainly due to bad solder joints on either, uh, or probably bad solder joints on the analog board. So the repair should be quite simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and start unboxing this machine. Now I've never done unboxing videos on this channel before and uh, I really just don't uh, like to do them because I don't find them very entertaining. But for something like this that includes all the original accessories, um, I think this will be a good video. Now, I didn't say this before, but I actually got this machine off eBay for only $20. Yes, $20 for an entire fully functioning, or not fully functioning, but uh, basically an entire factory set of a Macintosh Plus. So let's just go ahead and cut the box open. I may have to do this off camera, uh, I'm not sure, but I'll do as much of it on camera as I can. So here's the first box. Let's see what's in here. So as you can see, this is an original box that would have shipped with the machine. And it appears to include um, the uh, intro to Macintosh applications, which I guess has Mac Draw and a Mac Write on it, as well as a guided tour. Now there is actually another floppy disk, which uh, got stuck in the a floppy drive of the machine since it doesn't work. Ah, and below that you can see um, we have the manual. So there's the unpacking guide, which I won't be using. And uh, here's the original um, Macintosh Plus manual. So that's quite interesting and quite nice to have. Back in. All right, so right here it appears we have the keyboard. It appears it has someone's name on it too, so that's interesting. So it looks like a keycap actually broke. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. It looks like the actual switch broke out of the key, but oh well, at least it's just one and it's on the number pad, so it most likely won't use it. So yeah, there's the keyboard. It feels interesting to type on these. I've never actually used one of these before. It doesn't really have any tactile feel. And it's not very loud either for being a keyboard like this. As you can see, the caps lock key actually um, sticks down when you engage it, which is quite interesting. And as you can see, it also comes with the original um, phone style cord that plugs into the machine. So next, let's see what else we have here in the way of cords. Um, so we have the power cord right here. It is original, as you can see right there. Um, we also have a, another Apple power cord, which is quite interesting. Um, right over here, I actually forgot to mention this earlier, but this is actually an external 800K floppy drive, so you can see it right there. Um, don't know if this works or not, but I'm probably assuming it does. So we'll set that aside right there, we'll unwrap it later, and right here we have the machine itself. So I'm probably gonna have to pause the video here and lift this out with two hands 
But um, once I do that, uh, I'll go ahead and resume the video. All right, so as you can see, I have gotten the Macintosh Plus uh, unwrapped. And it actually came uh, just with this little cover, I guess. It just kind of slips over it. I thought it was a carrying bag in the listing, but apparently it's just like a little cover that just goes right on top of the machine like this, but, which is quite interesting. Uh, as you can see here on the front, uh, there is a floppy disk stuck in the drive, and don't know if it's um, if it's actually all the way in there. It doesn't really look like it, but I am going to try to turn this machine on in just a minute to, to see what it does. Uh, but yeah, this floppy drive may need to be oiled or something for the eject mechanism to work. Um, as for the display, as you can see, it is looking really, really nice. Uh, absolutely no burn-in whatsoever on it. Um, so we'll just have to see if it works, which will be quite interesting. Um, most likely it does, so um, yeah. Alright, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just hook this machine up. Uh, at least the keyboard and the uh, machine itself. And uh, see what happens. So uh, let me get that plugged in and I'll be right back. All right, uh, the machine is now plugged in and ready to be turned on. So let's just go ahead and power it up and see what happens. You can see it chimed. And that floppy drive does not sound too good. Um, so we aren't getting anything on the screen. Let's see if I jostle it like they said. Alright, yeah, so we're not getting anything on the screen, but the machine is indeed on. And you can tell it is at least trying to access this floppy disk. I'll definitely be taking this apart and working on that drive, but let's just go ahead and shut the machine off. And, um, yeah, that's just the unboxing of this Apple Macintosh Plus. Um, I will be making a repair video about it later once I um, get this machine apart and prepare to repair it. So that is the unboxing of this Apple Macintosh Plus. Hope you enjoyed this video. All right, so just a really quick update. Um, I haven't taken the machine apart yet, but um, I did figure out what the issue with the display is. So. When I hit it on the side, you'll see what happens. So yeah, obviously bad solder joints in there. Um, I'll definitely open that up pretty soon and fix that. Um, and like I said, I will be making a video. So basically, the only thing I really need to repair in this machine is the floppy disk drive, or I can just use the external, but I'd like to repair the one uh, inside the machine as well. Um, and I need to fix the solder joints on the analog board. So that is the unboxing of this Apple Macintosh Plus. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video.